I love the snow, as long as I don't have to go out in it. That's why I always keep the ingredients on hand to make my family their favorite comfort food meal. Join me this morning while I make meatloaf and mashed potatoes. I've sprayed two standard size loaf pans with some no sticks cooking spray. I've put three pounds of extra lean ground beef in a nice big bowl. I'm gonna lightly whisk two whole eggs. Pour them in. Set this aside. And now I'm going to make my binder. And what I use as a binder are saltine crackers. Don't roll your eyes. They are superior to bread crumbs any day of the week. And what you want to do is you just want to crush these with your hands. You don't want to make crumbs out of them. You want bits and pieces in this bowl. This is four ounces or one sleeve. One cup of whole milk. Stir these around. Now I'm going to have to let these sit for about five or ten minutes so that the crackers can absorb all the milk. And in the meantime, I'm going to move over to the stovetop and saute the veggies. veggies have cooled about 15 minutes, which means I can touch them without them burning my hands. I'm going to take my ground meat, which has my two eggs. Take your jewelry off, girls. There's only one way to do this. Get your hands in it. Give that a good mix. We're going to get all of these uh, softened saltine cracker crumbs or crackers. It's real pasty, real thick, really good. These are my secret weapon in lots of things. Mix these in. It helps if your ground meat is kind of a little bit come to room temperature for about a half an hour or so. It makes it a lot easier to mix everything together. And now for the last part, the grand finale, all of these sauteed vegetables and all of the butter in the bottom of the pan. I should be going towards the camera, but us left-handers have problems with that. And now we'll get this all mixed in. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna wash my hands, and when I come back, we'll get these in the pan. I've divided the meat mixture in half. It's about two, a little bit shy of two and a half pounds in each one and I form them into loaves, but what I really like to do is I like to pack and press them out nice and flat. And they're still gonna bake up in, in like, a, like a bread. They're gonna get a dome on them, but not quite so severe. And I think they just look prettier if you take just a moment to do this. Pop these into a 350 degree oven for an hour and 15 minutes and about 45 minutes through, I'm going to boil my potatoes. I've cooked and drained three 
three pounds of cubed gold potatoes. They're steaming hot and I'm sticking them into the steaming hot stock pot that I cooked them in. I'm adding six tablespoons of really soft butter. Mm. And about 30 grinds of salt to start. And the same with a nice peppercorn blend. I love a peppercorn blend in mashed potatoes. It makes all the difference in the world. Now I'm going to toss this around so the potatoes are all coated in the melted butter. half a cup of cream and I'm not using milk you can see the chunky pieces of cream this is cream cream real deal cream cream mmm and we're gonna start smashing and mashing I use an old-fashioned handheld potato masher or vegetable masher I'm not a proponent of a ricer for Yukon gold potatoes but I love a ricer if I'm using russet potatoes, which are drier. These were really creamy textured potato. You did best in your local gymnasium to do this and get them to build up your arm strength. and smashing and I think I have about 10 minutes left on my meatloaf so when I'm done mashing these I'm going to put a lid on them and put them back on this burner the still warm stove top and just keep them warm until it's time to eat meatloaf and mashed it's the number one dish served in diners all across America, and for good reason. It's all American comfort food that we can all love, anytime, anywhere. For these and all of my recipes, just go to my website.